I'm How trying. This is a school project for. Uh, oh yeah, he's supposed to mentor somebody on a job or whatever, and then. Basically, um, I'm in a program called Cybax, which is like a business program at my school. And for our junior year project, we have to take a question and mentor with it for ten hours. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm doing mine with uh, Steven. It's pretty chill. Duh. So how about them Idra vs. Alive games? <laughs> oh man, they were they were well played, right? Solid play on everyone's side. Everyone's side. I had to cast those. I Dude, really? <laughs> I saw. I know. Yeah. Oh god. So I'm trying out some new shit, Chef. You can't laugh at me, okay? It's still highly experimental. Okay. Okay, highly experimental. That's like... Just remember that. I mean... Are you really doing this, though, just to stop the foregate? No, it's just a different way of approaching the early game. Instead of having to use Roche Lang, just only like... But would you do this on every map? Um, I don't see a map I wouldn't do it on. What is it he's doing? Basically, I'm rushing for. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Chad. I will fucking touch your girl. Basically, I'm rushing like, like, and. Okay, okay, sure, Okay, so basically, standard play for Zerg is kind of like early three base roach lane, right? To kind of hold off any sure. early Protoss aggression. Um, and then you, there's like deviations from there. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to rush plus one carapace so I can use only links to hold off any plus one zealots, and then I hopefully get ahead in drones and blah 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 because I don't have to uh, make any roaches early on. And I can make more queens or whatever, too. I don't know. That's like that's like the idea, the rough the rough estimate of how this is kinda of working. I see. Does it work for you? I mean I've I win games against Korean master players, but I don't but I've never had anybody try to like blind hard counter or anything. Uh, so I don't know if they can be like heavily metagamed or some shit and then you lose, you know. Yep, quick plus two A move, GG. Well quick plus two would be kinda of hard. And and it's not only links for the end of time, it's just links in the beginning. It flings till the end of the time. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Chad. <laughs> Fucking noob. Is that wall you're making actually work, Chad? Works <laughs> when he metagames me. And he knows I'm not gonna all win him. What's wrong with it? Blame bust. Uh, it just looks bad to me. Ooh. So, no, I, I don't know how to wall on this map. All good. Just... Just my thoughts on the matter. <laughs> well, it doesn't help you talk if you don't tell me what's wrong with it. I, I realize that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> just, just... It's one of those things where I just know it looks wrong to me as a Zerg player. Oh, that's, all, that's all I can say. <laughs> oh, God, for you. No, it can't be that bad. Like, I'll, I'll put not. something in front of the other pylon. Like, we talked about, like, second can or not, and it was like, no don't. So, like, it's fine, just... Like, I guess you need a pylon to the left of your gas, or a probe there in case, so you can do that at some point. So, left of my... What for? Like, to block for Ling Run Bus. Like, you don't need it now, obviously, but... Yeah, yeah. Well, if Ling's come, I can just pull off probes from the mineral line, right? Ah, uh, not really. Oh, really? Sometimes things go through them. And like, one cannon. It's so okay, you know, Chad, just keep that again. It's okay, Chad. Like, I don't think you need it yet, but like... Well, I mean, you, like, later. If, like, that? Yeah, yeah. Just with you right there. I mean, if you get a zealot, that works. I don't... Do you think someone's going to 14, 14 gas? Like, you need to throw that all the time. Oh, I guess. At least for a while. You get Idiot. I'll always check that. And then you can wall off that area. Right. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, your build's weird, Steven. Yeah, it's pretty weird. I've seen it's like... Like I said, highly experimental. <laughs> Very experimental. Let's see. Like, are you just gonna get me watch Star Vision the entire game? Yeah. Okay. Just that. 
need a third hatchery sooner. Why are you still getting gas? Dude? Um, take my last now. Okay. I'm a noob at this build, I'm just gonna sit and watch. Don't worry, I'm me. still a noob at this build, so I forgive you. <laughs> Did I really lose an overlord to cannons? Okay. Did you really? I was a stalker. Oh, okay. Thanks. Shh, make him feel bad. What hey! What are you doing? Hey, the coolest thing happened to me today. The coolest thing ever? It's not the coolest thing ever. Okay. I, I misspoke. A cool thing happened. So. Okay. Well, let's hear it. So, <clears throat> I was doing coaching for someone, and I got home and waited for like 30 minutes, and they didn't show up. And then they showed up then, and I was like, well, I left dinner with my family, which I did leave, to, you know, be here on time for coaching. So, like, uh, we'll just we'll just do it for another day. It's all good. Just I thought it was earlier. He, he thought it was a different time than what it actually was. Okay. So then, like to be nice, he said he would send me a gift certificate to the place that me and my family were eating lunch at. And then he actually did. I got it today. So I was like, well, you should be nice, Cole. Cole will send you gift certificates. Now that's what I call a cool story. <laughs> Where'd you get to eat? Uh, well, I haven't went yet, but I'm gonna turn stuff back to my. Wow. It's like a rare occasion for you to be there. So you like some good food. They have really good cheap steak. Hey, why did you get roaches if you're going to Zergon? Well, I have to get him eventually. I have to get him eventually because he's going to have sentries or whatever. It's mainly just for early game pressure. Once they get late game, you can't do only, um... So it's like metagaming that plus, four is plus one is out time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but you should only be mat getting the links if you see, um, like that two gas. Like if they're only on two gas and they don't take the two at their natural. See? Interesting. Interesting. They always have some pretty interesting things. Thanks. You stop. <laughs> One of these days, mini deck. <laughs> I'm still curious how this is mentoring, but go along with it. Well, he was asking a lot of questions the first day. We're kind of like towards the end now, though, I think. Ah, uh, okay. Makes sense. Yeah, um... Basically... I don't know. Towards the beginning, I think, yeah, like, I feel that, like, I mean, like, a PowerPoint. He was helping me, like, I was at, uh, answering questions and stuff, but, you know, I kind of ran out of stuff to talk about, so I'm just gonna get in my 10 hours now. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> That probably could have went a little bit better, huh? Yeah, I think so. Just a little bit. Just a little bit.
Oh, and you had Burrow too. Darn. Oh shit, that's right. I know I got that for a reason. Are you mad, son? A little bit. Yeah, you sound pretty mad. Yes. I just never heard of it. This is like 182A at least. I got two fronts going here, buddy. I'm not talking to you. Where's that roach movement? I really don't have roach speed? No, I do. Shut up, Chad. I, di I didn't even say you didn't. Oh, burrow movement. Is that what you're talking about, maybe? Probably. I also have this idea that as long as Protoss is on like two bases, I should never take a fourth and just keep attacking from three, always till they die. <laughs> what it feels like. <laughs> that's that's pretty much my ZVP these days. Fuck late game versus Protoss, man. Our control is so gay. I'll try that shit when Heart of the Swarm comes out. Two. We're only on two, Chen. That's <laughs> true. Probably like round 15. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Chen, look at Angel. Looks pretty in there, huh? Dumb as <laughs> I thought it was bad for me, Chad. <laughs> it usually is. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, no charge loud speed for you, buddy. Oh god. I'm just kind of more. And now for the pincer. Ah, <laughs> oh, you fucking noob. Not a single immortal, Chad. I'm disappointed. Yeah, Chad. I'm busy. <laughs> Stop. Oh, I did talk to you. Okay, still got this. Nice. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Strategy's too good, man. It's just Umba. Too Umba. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut up, Chad. So I don't think it can be like hard counter. Like if somebody knows that I open like that, they can't do anything stupid to like hard counter it, right? Um, maybe. When do you get roaches after your turn? Um, as soon as I see you put the two gases down at your natural. Because uh. I figure you shouldn't be able to afford like mass sentry off of just two gases, right? Like it'd be kind of a weird all in, right? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure what would counter it. I mean, if I can be minigun with it, I think the build is okay. It's fairly solid, no? Um, it seems so, but like, I don't know, it was really confusing, to be honest. Basically the idea is, as long as your um, gas is down by about 2 minutes and 50 seconds, and your evo chamber is down by about 4 minutes and 25 seconds, as soon as the evo chamber finishes, you start carapace. With the next 100 gas, you start speed. Carapace and speed will finish at about the same time, and that time that it finishes should be anywhere between 7 minutes and 10 seconds, or 7 minutes and 25 seconds, which is a little, like, 25 seconds before, like, any 6 gate or 4 gate or 7 gate pressure hits off of only 2 gases. You know? Yeah. So... Best case scenario, they try that pressure and it fails miserably. Because it should, because you have that many links or whatever. Um, worst case scenario, they don't do any kind of attack at all, in which case, you just take your third for free, and then... And then I guess the idea is, like, upgrades are really important. Like, hopefully with this build, and I, I didn't take any gases last game beyond the original free, which was kind of a mistake, but ideally with this build, you can be 2-2-2. Two, 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 uh, melee attack, 2 missile attack, 2 carapace, and then you just massively pressure with Roach Link to keep him off of that third base. Kind of like what I did against Chad. Gotcha. Um, on uh, some maps it works really well. That map it's not that good because it's so easy to turtle in that third, but like on a map like Metalopolis, where you get your third as a free gold and you can pressure both bases really well, um, I don't know, I feel like it's okay. Gotcha. It seems like it has potential, but there's like possible weak spots, I'd say. What are the possible weak spots? Um. Imagine if, like, he goes Stargate and then just turtles. You're, like, kind of behind on tech, I think. Yeah, a little bit. Um, the only, the only reason really why I like... On probes. The only reason I like this for Stargate, when you say turtle, you mean two base or three base? Um, I mean, like, two or three. Well, there's a big difference. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, I think either works, is what I'm saying. If they, if they do two base, the idea is that I can get by making only queens, um, since I'm not making that roach one or any roaches, and I don't have to invest a lot in spores, so I can put the money towards drones in the third base. I don't know, I'd have to, I guess I'd have to try it out, I'd have to try it out more against Stargate play. Stargate play, I'm, I'm always, I really don't feel good up against Stargate play, no matter what I do. Even doing conventional, like, three base roach lane, I always feel kind of hairy against Stargate play sometimes. Like, I don't know, like, sometimes you overproduce spores, sometimes you don't make enough, sometimes you only scout one Stargate. And you have two spores and like a queen at a base, and all of a sudden, like four void rays and six fucking phoenix flying. You're like, god damn it. <laughs> I hate that. Uh... 